Okay, let's start off with considering a very simple bond. Okay. You all know what bond is, we've talked about it in ECO, uh, ECO 207. So suppose there is a three year bond, okay? You're buying it in year zero. And at the three, end of three years, the bond will mature. So year one, year two. Now, today, if you want to buy this bond, you have to pay 250 taka. Okay, that's the value price of the bond. Let's write down price of the bond. But once you've bought this bond, what's going to happen is uh, this bond is going to pay you 100 taka at the end of year one, 100 taka at the end of year two, and 100 taka at the end of year three. So now my question is, should you buy this bond? Should you? Now, to someone who's not an economist, this seems very straightforward. Of course, you pay 250 taka, you're going to receive 300 taka. So of course you should buy the bond, right? You're making 50 taka profit. But of course, as economists, we know that's really not the case, primarily because over time, money loses value, okay? So what we are going to have to do right now is the, the primary tool that we will be using in this chapter, which is something called expected present discounted value and that's a mouthful so in short i will just call it no that's not correct i will just call it the present value or just pv in short but this is the full form expected present discounted value and if of course if some of you have done some courses in uh, finance or even accounting you guys know what present value is what present value is, is we're trying to figure out uh, this 100 taka that you are going to get at the end of this year. We're going to tr try and figure out what the value of this 100 taka is today. Okay. This that you are going to get two years later, what is the value of this 100 taka today? And what is the value of this 100 taka from three years later today? By that, what I'm effectively saying is that uh, for this, for example, when you get this 100 taka, there are certain things you will be able to buy with 100 taka at the end of this year. But to buy the same things today, how much will it cost us? It'll cost us less in most cases, but that's what we're trying to figure out. Uh, if I were to make things more simpler, let's take a more drastic example, okay? If I promise to pay you 100 taka today and 100 taka 20 years later, what will you choose? You will pick the 100 taka today because in 20 years, 100 taka won't be worth a lot of money. That 100 taka would have lost a lot of its value. So you'd rather take the 100 taka today. Over time, money is losing value. So even though you're promised 300 taka from this bond, uh, this 300 is not going to come to you immediately. It will come to you in intervals of times. And during those intervals, money will be losing value. And we want to figure out what the present value, present value, of this 300 taka is going to be. That is effectively all that we will be learning from in this chapter, okay? Uh, so before I get mathematical, let me introduce uh, this term. A one year nominal, you all know what nominal is, nominal interest rate. And we're going to call it I, one, T, okay? One means this is for one year, and T is, of course, the time subscript. Uh, so we could write, suppose, 
I1 2021. That means in the year 2021, the nominal interest rate for one year. That that's all it means. Okay, so what this means is that if I save 10 taka today, I mean, today, as I make this video, it's September. Suppose it's 1st Jan 2021, beginning of the year. If I save 10 taka today, how much will I have on uh, 31st December 2021? And that's pretty straightforward. What we simply do is we take this 10 taka and we multiply that with one plus the interest rate, right? So suppose interest rate is 5%. Uh, what did I just do? Suppose interest rate is 10%, 10% uh, or uh, 0 0.1. In that case, what we will get here is 10 times 1 plus 0 0.1 or 10 times 1.1, which is 11 uh, taka, of course. What that means, if if I save 10 taka at the beginning of the year with a 10% interest rate, I am going to receive 11 taka at the end of the year. You all could have done that. But let me turn it around a little bit. Suppose you own a bond that will, you own a bond that is going to pay 10 taka at the end of the year okay so now we are at the beginning of the year first january if i buy this bond at the end of the year i'm going to receive 10 taka so how much should i be willing to pay for this bond should i pay 10 taka should i pay 9 taka 8 taka 12 taka how do I calculate that? Here is how. Okay. So what we are trying to calculate is the uh, the price of the bond. So let's call it price of. Okay, this is going to be equal to. I'm going to receive ten taka. But there is also going to be interest rate, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is divide this by 1 plus I1T or assuming that 10% interest rate is divided by 1.1 which gives me uh, 10 divided by 1.1 9.09 Okay, Now that's the mathematical part. That's done. But let's talk about this value. What does this mean? What is this 9.09 taka? What it means is that the things that you can buy with 10 taka at the end of the year, you can buy for 9.09 taka at the beginning of the year. I mean, Actually, that's not technically correct. I'm, I'm talking about inflation. Forget what I said. Uh, with inflation, uh, what this 9.09 uh, taka means is that if you keep this 9.09 taka in your bank at the beginning of the year, at the end of the year, you are going to receive 10 taka, which means that if the price of this bond is 9.09 taka at the beginning of the year and at the end of the year it's going to pay you 10 taka you will be indifferent between buying or selling the bond that, because i mean you're not really making a profit the value of this at the beginning of the year and this at the end of the year are exactly the same there's no difference between them. So what that means is that if the price of this bond is 9 taka, you will want to buy it. 
if the price of this bond is let's say 9.2 taka you will not want to buy it because it's too much uh, what would happen if this was a two-year bond? What would we do then? Uh, pretty much the same thing. PT would be equal to, we're getting 10 divided by 1 plus I1T. This is the interest for first year. And then there's going to be interest for the second one, second year. And then you do the calculation. Now the interest rate may be the same for both the years, or it may not be. Okay, so if uh, interest is the same, then what we see is PT will be equal to 10 taka divided by 1 plus i1 uh, square because it's it's the same so this and this becomes the same uh, so let me give an example actually i think that will be easier let's come back to this this example so price of bond is 250 taka and the coupon payment, or let's say payment you receive with 100 taka at the end of three, uh, end of next three years. And let's say uh, the nominal interest rate is let's look at two examples over here for all three years interest rate will stay the same uh, so let's say seven percent and in the next example suppose they will change so for t suppose it's seven percent and then next year interest rate goes up to eight percent and then for the third year it goes down to six percent okay so let's try to figure this out. What we want to do is find the present value of the payments, right? So PVT is equal to the 100 that we receive at the end of first year, we divide that by the interest 7% plus we receive another 100 at the end of two years. So for two years, we have 107 squared because this money we're receiving after two years. And then this money, the final payment we're receiving after three years. So Q, okay. And now uh, I'm just getting a calculator. What we get is, uh, let me just bring this down here, 93.46 plus 87.34 plus 93.46. So if we add this up, we get 93.46 plus 87.34 plus 81.63. We get 262.43 taka. Okay, so here's what. If we pay 200 taka today, let me use another ink. If we pay 250 taka today, we are going to get some money from this bond over the next three years. The present value of this money that we are going to receive is equivalent to 262.43 taka today. So even though we are actually going to receive 300 taka over 300 years, uh, over three years, today this 300 taka is worth 
262.43 taka should i buy the bond uh yes because if we we are paying 250 but we're receiving more 262.43 so that means yes we should buy this bond we will make money from this bond okay i hope that makes sense let's take a look at the second case where the interest rates are changing now keep one thing in mind is that we only know the interest rate of this year which is seven percent if we're going for the next years this is our expected interest rate this is our expected interest rate okay we do not know what the interest rate will be offered to us next year or the year after that this is just something we are uh, forecasting but okay let's do the calculation so the present value is going to be so this does not change 100 taka we receive at the end of the first year we discount that by 0 0.07 plus this we get at the end of the second year so for the first year we discounted by seven percent but in the next year, interest rate has gone up. So we have to discount it by 8%. And for the third year, of course, we get 1.07, 1.08, and we have 6%, 1.06. So once again, if we do the calculations, this will stay the same, 93.46. Let's check the other ones divided by 1.07 divided by 1.08. So we get 86.54 plus uh, 1.06. So we get 81.64. So I think we will still buy this bond. It will still be valued at more than 250 89.64 so we get 261.64 so not a lot of difference between these two and this is still more than 250 uh, so we can still buy the bond so for you guys to practice with let me just give you a third scenario i'm not going to solve this but you guys can give it a go uh, so the third scenario is suppose interest first year is seven percent interest next year is nine percent and t plus one and interest in the third year is suppose twelve percent uh, so if this is the scenario calculate the present value and then decide whether or not you should or shouldn't buy the bond okay that should be pretty simple